Do you think I can save this thick mid-century dresser? Well, let's find out in today's episode. Hi and welcome or welcome back to Second Arts. My name is Agnieszka and I'm a furniture flipper based in Sweden. Today I'm working on a mid-century dresser I found on Marketplace for free. Free furniture is quite hard to find here in Sweden, so I definitely consider myself lucky, even though this dresser has quite a lot of damage and I can only pray the paint will be easy to remove. I start this flip by removing the drawers first so that I can inspect the inside of the dresser, which turns out looks way better than the outside. The peeling veneer was making me crazy, so I cut it out with my X-Acto knife. Since I'm stripping this dresser, there was no need to clean it first, but my V33 paint stripper would do the job anyway. I applied a generous amount of the gel and used an old paintbrush to brush it all over the top. Honestly, I've never seen this paint remover work this fast. Like, I just put it on paint and it started working right away. Let's see how it's gonna go now. I have to remove the paint stripper. Woo! God damn! I mean, I really wish this part wasn't as uh, destroyed as it is. Because I would probably save the tea. But it is what it is, right? I still have a plan. So what I'm gonna do with it instead. Damn! It's crazy. So there is some paint left and also some varnish underneath the paint. So. It didn't really go off with the paint stripper, so I'm gonna try to use this um, carpet scraper and see how it goes. Using carpet scraper after the paint stripper is removed helps to get rid of the rest of the paint and the varnish that was hiding underneath. And since this method worked so well on the top, I continued with the rest of the dresser. You can clearly see the paint lifting and bubbling, which is always a good sign. This kind of job is very messy and I definitely recommend doing it outside, but if you ever want to refinish furniture yourself, you should definitely give paint stripper a try. The next day. Now that all of the paint is stripped, it's important to clean the dresser of any residue. For that I used white spirits. It neutralizes the paint stripper and removes any leftover product. To repair the parts where veneer is missing, I used chemical wood, also called Bondo. Bondo is basically a two-part mix which is raisin with hardener. You have to mix these two components and apply as regular spackle, but it dries very fast and is rock solid once dry. While my bondo was drying, I started to sand the top with 60 grit paper. 60 grit paper is quite rough, but there was still some varnish left and any higher grit paper wouldn't remove that as effectively. I was just working on this top and look what happened. What the f? Head on my French, but honestly, I'm glad the top showed its true colors and how unstable it is before I started painting it. And to fix the problem, I used some indoor wood glue. And since I still don't have clamps that will fit the dresser, I used a bucket with paint and put it on top of the dresser to add some pressure. Once the top was glued, it was time to sand the dresser again, but this time I used 120 grit paper, which will smooth out the top nicely. 
the edges have a nice rounded shape which my Orbita Sunday can't fit into. Instead, I'm using a sanding sponge and 120 grit paper to sand by hand. The dressing is all done and ready to get primed, but first I need to clean it with hot water to remove any dust left from the sander. Now that there is no paint left, you can see the beautiful veneer that was hiding underneath. And to be honest with you, it makes me a little bit sad that someone covered it with paint. Unfortunately, the red paint got deep, deep into the wood and the damages are beyond repair, so I won't be able to save this dresser without painting it myself. But before I did that, I removed the peeling veneer on the bottom of the dresser. My plan is to paint this dresser in light green color. And to make sure the paint will look nice and even, and the wood won't bleed through, I primed it first. And as always, I used my favorite Zin Sabine shellac. To put it simply, shellac primer is a stain blocking primer that adheres to tricky surfaces like glossy plastics, metals, ceramic tiles, and previously varnished surfaces. The best way to achieve a factory smooth finish is to scuff sand in between coats of paint. And for that I'm using 220 grit paper or higher, but I also make sure to sand very lightly without adding any pressure. And as I mentioned before, I decided to paint this dresser in light green. I have plenty of paint left over from previous projects, and this color looks very nice on dressers like this one. I always use water-based furniture paint, since it is easy to apply, dries fast, and I can add water to the paint if it's too thick for my spray gun. Once the dresser is painted, I leave it for around 2 hours to dry and scuff sand again before spraying on a second coat of paint. I left the bottom of the dresser for last since this is the easiest part to finish. I have already removed all peeling veneer and all that was left was to sand the legs smooth with 120 grit paper. Next I applied water-based stain using a kitchen sponge. In my opinion, water-based stain is easier to apply than the oil-based, that's why I used this one. Last but not least, I added some brass hardware that I got from Amazon. This way I will elevate the total look of the dresser. And that's how I transformed the dresser from this to this. Let me know in the comments which version did you like most, the red one or the green one. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, like and share with anyone who you think would like this video as well. And check out my other videos for more furniture flipping inspiration.